Now then, how do? Welcome to a bit more Yorkshire Brass. It's David Doyle with you for a couple of hours of fine brass band music. Thanks for all your messages this week, and uh, there are some great requests coming up. We started off today with music from the 1948 musical Kiss Me Kate. Another opening, another show. Yes, week 51, or show 51, of our online YouTube series. The music of Cole Porter, arranged for brass band by Stephen Roberts, and played there by the BNFL band. Our first request this week, uh, we go to Egremont in Cumbria and say hello once again to Phil. Phil, thanks very much indeed um, for a lovely email and uh, a great request. We've not played this one for a while on any of my shows, um, but I have played it before. Phil says, my son used to play a second horn for this band and they were conducted by Dennis Hadfield. They won the first section in 1998 and he then moved to Cumbria and is now Principal Cornet for the Egremont Town Band. Tenor horn still his passion and he plays occasional solos on the horn. I play second baritone. I only took up brass playing when I was 60, never too late, absolutely. We had somebody on a couple of weeks ago, didn't we? It was 78, I think, when he started playing. It is never too late. I had 29 years off and came back to play again, just to let you know. Anyway, Phil, in Egremont in Cumbria, the band you are referring to had a centenary march. It was written uh, by Simon Kerwin, and we're going to hear it now. The Todmorden Old Band playing the Todmorden Centenary March. <laughs> Todmorden Old Brass Band, playing the Todmorden Centenary March, specially written for them by Simon Kerwin. Phil in Egremont in Cumbria with that request. YorkshireBrass at gmail.com, the email address that Phil used. It was also used by Les Manning, Les Manning Jr., JNR in brackets, to be precise. And we'll find out why that is in a minute. 
Thanks so much for your lovely programme each week, says Les. It's been an enormous support during the lockdown, especially through the winter, which has been hard for so many. Can I please request an overture, which I don't think I've heard played on any of your recent shows? This is one of my dad's favourites, Les Senior, hence the brackets. Now, let me tell you that Les Senior's 90 and he's still able to knock up a tune or two out of his baritone. How fabulous is that? Brilliant. This favourite overture of his is not one you hear bands play much at all these days. You often hear the final bit, the very famous ending, but not the whole lot. My request is for Offenbach's overture, Orpheus in the Underworld. We're going to play that right now, and this is Gough Richards' arrangement, played here by the Carlton Main Frickley Colliery Band.
The Carlton Main Frickly Colliery Band playing this week's overture. Offenbach's Orpheus in the Underworld. Yes, the full version. And Gough Richards with that tremendous arrangement. Playing it for Les Manning Jr. and Les Manning Sr. in Biddulph Moor in Staffordshire. That overture was first performed at the Théâtre des Bouffes Parisiennes in Paris in October 1858. Still absolutely brilliant and going strong to this day. Thanks for all your feedback from last week's programme, by the way, about the wonderful soloists from Champions of Brass. Um, particularly to Robin in Marple, who sent a lovely long email saying, can't wait for this band to get going, and how about featuring some more of the soloists? Well, funnily enough, Robin, I'd already decided to do that on this week's show, and we're going to start with the principal trombone player. His name's Nick Hudson, and he's playing here with the Rochdale Band, a solo which was composed by the great Don Lusher. Let's have a listen to Nick Hudson playing concert variations. <laughs> Thank you. 
Concert Variations by Don Lusher, a great trombone solo by a great trombone player. Nick Hudson was playing there with the Rochdale Band, the first in a series of solos that uh, we're featuring today from members of the newly formed Champions of Brass. Next up, we've got... Um, the, uh, well, I can only describe this as a heritage track, and we've got a few of these today. This uh, is for Tony. Tony's in Huddersfield and says, Any chance you could play James Howe's Begin for Brass? I remember playing this, says Tony, sometime in the 1960s. Can't remember the year. Well, let me tell you, Tony, that it wouldn't have been before 1965 because this piece of music was composed and published in 65. So we're looking at the second half of the 60s if that was to be the case. The Hammonds Sourceworks Band playing here. I remember playing this in the very early 1980s and enjoying it very much indeed. James J.H. Howe's Begin for Brass. <laughs> James Howe's Begin for Brass was played by the Hammond Sourceworks Band at the request of Tony in Huddersfield. A heritage recording, the first of a few heritage tracks on today's show. That one's from 1965. Uh, well, the piece was, the recording was a bit later, 73 I think that recording came from. Next up, Pam's Pick, Hello Flower. 
And uh, thanks, as always, for sending your list in. It keeps expanding, which is wonderful. As Pam thinks of something, she drops me an email and we add it on to the list. Now, this one is from uh, an American film of 19... 86 and it's played here by the Yorkshire Imperial Band. The vocal version which is absolutely lovely was by Linda Ronstadt and James Ingram and it was from the film An American Tale. Daryl Barry made this arrangement for Brass Band and I always think uh, when, when I hear this music and I've got the band version obviously and I've got the proper version and I love both equally but I always think of my late dad and I can imagine anyone who's lost someone a loved one thinking uh, and looking up to the sky really uh, because the words are very poignant as well i do hope you enjoy this it's a slow piece of music very very thought-provoking indeed its title sums it up really somewhere out there Daryl Barry's arrangement of Somewhere Out There from the film An American Tale. Pam's pick this week was played by the Yorkshire Imperial Band, music from the 1986 film. Next up, we're going to uh, Alan and June 
in Norton Tower. Well, they don't know that we are, really, because their daughter Julie has been in touch. Julie lives in Maroochydore in Australia. And she says, I've not seen mum and dad now for nearly three years because of obvious reasons. They'd already, they'd just been um, prior to the pandemic and they generally come every two years to see us. So they're due, but we can't do anything other than Zoom at the moment. So I wonder if you can tune them up. Tune them up, it says. Yes, absolutely, we can tune them up. And uh, it's an appropriate piece of music that you've chosen. Gordon Langford's music played here by the Lindley Band, as we say, hi to mum and dad, Alan and June, in Norton Tower in Halifax. Walsing Matilda. Lindley Band playing Walsing Matilda by Gordon Langford. Julie in Maroochydore in Australia in touch to wish all the best and send lots of love to her mum and dad, Alan and June, in Norton Tower in Halifax. Good to hear from Michael Tarran this week. Michael is uh, involved with the Keithley and Worth Valley Railway. One of my other loves is railways, uh, particularly heritage railways. I absolutely love them. And uh, Michael sent me a, a message saying, unbelievable, Oily, have you seen this? Um, I had, but I'd forgotten about it, uh, and it's very, very interesting indeed. But um, uh, Seabrook's Crisps, so the other manufacturers are available, uh, had joined forces with a, a local brewery in North Yorkshire to make some crisp-flavoured beers. Really? Now, my first thought when I saw this was, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, but there are two beers. The first is a lager. 5.4%, which is quite strong for a lager, but the lager is flavoured with Seabrook cheese and onion crisps, or the flavourings of cheese and onion crisps is in the lager. I could probably cope with that, I think. I would try it. I'm not sure I'd try the second one that they've done, though, which is described as a soul beer or a, sa a sour beer. I can't read my own writing. How dare you? A sour beer. This one 
is flavoured with Seabrook's Prawn Cocktail flavoured crisps. And it's 5%. It gives a whole new meaning, doesn't it, to having a pint, pint, a pint in a packet of crisps. <laughs> having both in one. I, I'm, I'm unsure. Um, and there are a few others I'm going to go through as we go through the programme. A few other things that have appeared. Interestingly, all of these appeared in April, but not on the 1st. They are genuine by the looks of it. Anyway, there we go. Let's have a listen to this piece of music, which has been requested by um, John, the gardener. John the gardener in Sobey Bridge. In fact, he likes gardening and he likes dancing and he likes the music of Jim Parker so much that we're having back-to-back -back tracks from him. The first one is from the Black Dyke Band Ground Force album and it's all about some flowers that appear at this time of year. This is a striking piece of music, a great piece of music, requested by the Gardener John in Sobey Bridge, Tulip Parade. Black Dyke Band playing Tulip Parade from Ground Force. Music by Jim Parker for John the Gardener in Sobey Bridge, who was also John the Dancer from Sobey Bridge. Two passions in life, and he sent in two requests. The second one is another heritage recording from an LP from the early 1970s, written by Jim Parker as well, and played by the Grimethorpe Colliery Band. I remember playing this myself again in the early 1980s. So this time for John the Dancer, in Sobe Bridge. How about square dance?
stuff jim parker's square dance played by the grimethorpe colliery band thanks to john the gardener and john the dancer same man in soby bridge john sent his requests through the yorkshire brass facebook group if you're not a member of our private members group please do join the groups called yorkshire brass click on join group a message will be sent to me and i will reply and add you into the mix we're talking about these beers today which um have flavoured from crisps or things that are associated with crisps or here's one that's actually not crisps but it's got its own flavour of crisps and now it's gone into a beer if you know what I mean. This one appeared in April 2019 actually I mentioned it before on the show but you might have forgotten it's a Bloody Mary Porter with Henderson's Relish. Now Henderson's Relish is a, a Sheffield Relish very nice too and Yorkshire crisps make this one and it's Henderson's Relish flavour, and I really like them. I think they're tremendous. I've not tried this beer yet, though. Um, Porter's not my favourite, if I'm honest, so I probably would not do this one. But you might like it. Bloody Mary Porter with Henderson's Relish. Our second, oh, third beer, we've already mentioned Seabrook's. Cheese and onion crisp flavoured lager and prawn cocktail flavoured sour beers. More to come, more to come. Back to Robin in Marple. Robin loves the idea of Champions of Brass. And he says, uh, and we've already heard Philip McCann, but let's have another one from the great man. How about this one, dating back to 1892, described as a Victorian ballad by Stephen Adams. The Black Dyke Mills Band are accompanying Philip McCann on this recording, one of my mum's favourites as well. The Holy City.
Gospel Sound of Philip McCann with the Black Dyke Mills Band and Stephen Adams' The Holy City. Robin in Marple was keen to get more from the soloists uh, who were involved in Champions of Brass. And we've got more in the second part of this week's programme, which is coming up right after the next piece of music, which has been requested by Lyndon. Lyndon's in Wavertree in Merseyside and uh, is a Salvationist. How about this piece of music on the show, Euler? This is a right piece. You are 100% correct, my friend. Brilliant piece of music by Leslie Condon and not played enough. Tough piece of music to play. Only the best seem to have a go at it, says Lyndon. But let's have a listen to it on the programme now as we end the first half of this week's online concert. A bit more Yorkshire brass. The Ensfield Citadel. Let's try that again. The Enfield Citadel Band of the Salvation Army. Playing the music of Leslie Condon. Call of the Righteous. Thank you. 
stuff. The Enfield Citadel Band of the Salvation Army playing Leslie Condon's Call of the Righteous. Linden in Wavertree, thank you very much indeed for that. On to the second part of this week's show, and we start with a film theme from a 1960 American Western. The music of Elmer Bernstein, played here by the Brickhouse and Rastrick Band. The theme from The Magnificent Seven. Music from the Magnificent Seven in Technicolor in 1960, the American Western. The music was by Elmer Bernstein and the film starred Yul Brynner, Eli Wallach, Steve McQueen, Charles Bronson, Robert Vaughan, Brad Dexter, James Coburn and Horst Buchholz. Now, the eagle-eyed, or eagle-eared even, as it is in the case of a radio show, might recognise there are eight names there and the film was The Magnificent Seven. The, 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 the credits actually show those eight names. The odd one out is Eli Wallach, because he was the bandit chief, the baddie. Just to let you know. Next up, we're off to Perth in Scotland, to Jim Kelly. Jim, hello again. Thanks very much for this request. And another Salvation Army march. This one, this time, is by Norman Audois, and played here by the Black Dyke Band from a series of CDs that they made with marches of the Salvation Army. Canadian March, Montreal, Citadel. <laughs> Thank you. 
Roman Odois match, Montreal Citadel, played by the Black Dyke Band. Another Salvationist match. Wonderful too, requested by Jim Kelly, regular listener in Perth in Scotland. Back to the crisps, what have we got now? How about this now? I couldn't believe this when I read this. This appeared uh, in April of 2020. A two-course special. Really? Yes, two different beers. Um, the first one is, well, in fact, they're both 5.7% ABVs. They're strong. They're strong beers. The first one is flavoured roast beef and Aunt Bessie's Yorkshire pudding and roasties. I kid you not. Roast beef and Aunt Bessie's Yorkshire pudding and roasties. That's followed by jam roly poly and custard pale ale. Goodness me. Goodness me. Do I want to? I'd try it. I would absolutely have to have a go at that. Um, just not sure. Does it work as a beer? Well, it obviously did because it was made. The two course special. You can find it online, honestly. 5.7% on both of them. Back to our solos again uh, from Champions of Brass. One of the founders of Champions of Brass coming up next. This is an old a mucky brown paper moment. Mucky brown paper. Old music that's been in the band library for years. Gone a bit mouldy, gone a bit foisty. Been maybe mounted on cardboard and the pigment has made the paper brown. Sandy Smith, tenor horn soloist, will be leading the tenor horn section in Champions of Brass. Playing here with the Rochdale Band once again, as Nick Hudson was in the first hour of the show. William Rimmers, Jenny Jones. <laughs> Thank you. 
rocking old solo by William Rimmer. Sandy Smith was playing there with the Rochdale band. Jenny Jones was the title of the piece. And Robin in Marple um, said, well done on last week's. How about some more solos from the key people in Champions of Brass? Well, we're doing that absolutely once again this week. And we've got another one to come very, very shortly. But not until we've heard three heritage tracks, all from LPs and all requested by Keith in York. I'm doing all three, Keith, simply because your, your lovely email said, can you play one of these? And actually, they're all brilliant, and I couldn't decide which one to do. So I'm going to do them back to back, all three in a row, and we're going to start with the first piece of music, which was written by Peter Hasem and arranged by Douglas Pope. Now, Douglas Pope, we hear every year on the show, on the Remembrance program because he made the the lovely arrangement nightfall in camp which is the an evening hymn with the last post this is altogether more upbeat and it's played here by the GUS footwear band Spanish Harlequin <laughs> use of the castanets flamenco style there spanish harlequin by peter Hasem, arranged for brass band by douglas pope and played by the gus footwear band the first of three requests for keith in york all from lps all heritage tracks we stay with the gus footwear band for the second request and this is very popular indeed an arrangement by michael brand all about an interesting character read up about this guy online and it was a bit of a sorry, a very sorry, a sore story, yeah. Very sorry one as well. The character's name was John Barleycorn. <laughs> Thank you. 
Michael Brand's arrangement of John Barleycorn, played there by the GUS Footwear Band. Request number two in a block of three from old LPs that were playing for Keith in York. Keith's final request is played by the Wingates Band and another popular name in the brass band world, Sam B. Wood. Yes, Sam B. Wood, the same Sam B. Wood who penned West Riding, the theme march of the Brighouse and Rastrick Band, among others. We've played lots of his music on the show. This is another piece I remember playing again uh, in the early 1980s. It's based on Strauss's Blue Danube, but there is a twist. It's called the Rhythmic Danube. <laughs> Crackers, yes, the third one, The Rhythmic Danube by Sam B. Wood, played by the Wingates Band. Keith in York, thank you very much indeed 
for our last three records. Spanish Harlequin, John Barleycorn and the Rhythmic Danube. Three fine older pieces of music, all from LPs. You get the tick, you get the, the crackle of the LP in the background. Yorkshirebrass at gmail.com is the email address if you'd like to get in touch. You can also follow us, by the way, on Twitter, at Yorkshire Brass. And if you remember on that group, you can direct message with a request from there. Lots of ways to get in touch. We'd love to hear from you. And as always, the show is absolutely full this week. Next up, uh, we're back to the solos. Robin in Marple, the final solo of the week. And this is an arrangement by Andy Cook. Music from Les Miserables the music of Claude Michel Schoenberg, and it features the soprano cornet player who is going to be with Champions of Brass. The great Kevin Crockford, he's playing here with the Grimethorpe Colliery Band, and let me just say that whenever I play this music on any of my shows, I am inundated with emails wanting to know the name of the CD or where people can buy a copy from. Um, if you do want to buy a copy, do get in touch, yorkshirebrass at gmail.com, and I'll send you the link. That's the easiest way to do it. The title of the music from Les Miserables, Bring Him Home.
just magnificent. Kevin Crockford with the Grimethorpe Colliery Band, Andy Cook's arrangement of Claude Michel Schoenberg's Bring Him Home from Les Miserables. Kevin will be on the soprano cornet seat in Champions of Brass. No news yet on the inaugural concert. Work is in progress, um, but as you can imagine, with things as they are at the minute, it's a little difficult to find a venue and to get people to commit to how many people can be in that venue at any one time. So an announcement will come very soon, I promise you, but only when it's safe to do so. Happy birthday to Ali in New Milladam next. Ali's been in touch. She says, I listen to the programme on my own because my other half's not interested in brass bands. Brackets. How dare you? Yes, how dare you indeed, whatever your name is. How dare you? You might, you might refine as you get older, lad. You might just refine. Anyway, I'd like to hear some music of Lady Gaga. She is my favourite pop artist, and I know you've got some brass band music by her. Yes, we have. Our friends from Belgium, brass band Willibrook, Wilbroek, call them what you will, are playing here. And the music is by Lady Gaga, and I think this is a brilliant arrangement for brass band of one of her most famous tracks. Poker Face! <laughs> Face by Lady Gaga, played by brass band Villebrook, Villebrook from Belgium. Happy birthday again to Ali in New Miller Dam. Another birthday this week, and I haven't forgotten, would I? I've not forgotten, it's in my diary every year. Your dear wife has, though, been in touch. She remembered. Remembered. Remember the word remember. Anyway, she has remembered. And it's this week's test piece that we're going to play for you. 
The test piece dates back to 1928. Wow. 93 years ago. And this music has absolutely stood the test of time. I am delighted to play this. It was a favourite, very much so, of the Major. He played this over many years with the Linthwaite Band and won many prizes on it. Trevor, have a great birthday. Uh, I know that you'll be pleased that uh, the version I'm going to play includes your son-in-law playing on it with the Mazin Silver Prize Band. This week's test piece, Lorenzo by Thomas Keithway.
Wish Trevor Wood a very happy birthday. This week's test piece played by the Marsden Silver Prize Band, the music of Thomas Keithley from 1928, Lorenzo. That recording was from 2014. Kathleen Melling has this week's hymn tune. Kathleen's had a big birthday recently and got in touch to request this slot. Kathleen, we hope you had a lovely day. Best wishes to Peter as well. And the hymn tune that we're playing for your big birthday was written by Handel Parker and it's played here by the Hepworth Band. Deep Harmony. wish Kathleen Melling a very happy 70th birthday. I know she's happy to share that with you because she said so in the email. Handel Parker's Deep Harmony, this week's hymn tune for Kathleen, was played by the Hepworth Band. 
Before we go, can I just make another announcement and reminder that the Black Dyke Band will be appearing with the Huddersfield Choral Society on Sunday the 6th of June in a Covid safe concert at Almondbury Wesleyan Cricket Ground on K Lane in Almondbury in Huddersfield. Uh, this has all been checked out, it is all Covid safe and tickets are £20 from the box office via email mark.bins at hoyer hyphen group dot com or by telephone 07831 365 259 you can also go to the websites of the Huddersfield Choral Society and the Black Dyke Mills Band and purchase their credit cards are accepted with the online site it's an all outside socially distant Covid secure concert bring your own picnic blankets and chairs Sunday the 6th of June, 5 o'clock start at Almondbury Wesleyan Cricket Ground, K Lane in Almondbury near Huddersfield. It's fitting that we should end this week with music from the Black Dyke Band, but before we do, let me just go back and um, mention some more of these crisps. Anybody remember Hedgehog Crisps? 1981. They used to be at the Tuck Shop in school. My favourites, by the way, were made by Tudor crisps from the North East. Their flavourings were immense. Lamb and mint sauce and steak and onion used to go around the tucky at break and buy a packet of those. But when the Hedgehog crisps came out, we all tried them, but we, they were a bit perfumed. They were, they were not nice. But I had to bring it up because we're talking about unusual flavours of crisps. A number of you have been in touch actually to say what about this oily brewed on the banks of the River Derwent Yorkshire pudding beer made with real Yorkshire puddings. I've got to try it. This is a 3.6% more my style. Well it is at the moment. Let me tell you I'll come clean on this one now. I have not had a drink of alcoholic beer since the 3rd of January this year and on the 13th of April earlier this week it was a hundred days since I had an alcoholic beer. I've drink, drunk zero alcohol zero alcohol free beers and I've done all right with it it's been good for my health as well and I'll leave it at that. Ron in Shelley 80 coming up on April the 20th best wishes to you from all of your family and your friends in Shelley and you're a big brass band nut particularly a fan of the black dyke band and you like classical music oily can you pick a piece of music to suit i certainly can it's the grand finale to this week's program we wish ron and shelley a happy 80th birthday for the 20th of april the music is by gustav holst i leave you this week and say thanks for listening once again i'll be back next week it's the year anniversary show number 52 can you believe that we leave you today with music from the planets, Jupiter. Ta-ra!
Thank you.